Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. I am super duper excited today because we will present a very high yield case for nephrology. Please refer to my playlist titled Vignettes to find more cases like this. Today's video shall be episode number one in high yield cases, and it comes from our friends at truelearn.com, which is a great Q bank. I hope you've watched my previous videos on cardiovascular and respiratory cases. You'll find it in my vignettes playlist. I'll also leave the link in the description box below this video. Question number four, please pause. We have a 40 year old homeless man coming to the emergency department, unresponsive, tachycardia, dry mucous membranes, bicarbonate is low, BUN and creatinine are high. What do you think is going on? First, we need to make a deal. Anytime they give you sodium, and chloride and bicarbonate, you need to calculate the anion gap without being asked. So let's do it. Give me the positives on one side, that's my sodium, minus the anions, the negative ions, on the other side. So what's the sodium here? 140. Minus, what's my bicarbonate please? 18. How about the chloride? Chloride here is 101. The anion gap is 21. Is this normal? No, it is high. So we have a case of high anion gap metabolic acidosis. And given the fact that this patient is an alcoholic, homeless person, what do you think is going on? What do you think the cause is? out of my mud piles acronym. It's probably one of the alcohols like methanol, ethylene, glycol, etc. And what do we do for that? To inhibit the metabolism of methanol, we can give a medication that inhibits the alcohol dehydrogenase so that the alcohol is not metabolized to the toxic and metabolic products. So the answer here is fomepizole. So, did you get the answer right or not? Let me know in the comment section. Did you find the case hard, easy, or intermediate? So, today's tip is whenever you see sodium, chloride, and bicarbonate, you have to calculate the anion gap even if they did not ask you. And this is a very important skill for your board exam. In the upcoming cases, I'll give you more tips, hints, and skills to learn. So whether you're preparing for USMLE or COMLEX or the boards of physician assistants, or even if you are already a practicing anesthesiologist, OBGYN, specialist, surgeon, family doctor, etc., TrueLearn has a Q-Bank for you. And you can purchase TrueLearn and Picmonic in a singular subscription. Use my link in the description box to get a $25 discount. And as you know, I will never recommend a product that I have not tried before. Not only I've tried TrueLearn, I have finished more than 11% of the entire QBank. I have went over 311 questions at least, and I'm so proud of myself. When you see a question with this Picmonic symbol, it means that the explanation contains a video from Picmonic, which is an animated medical mnemonic. So what are you waiting for? You can try TrueLearn right now for free. Use discount code MEDICOSIS or click on the link in the description box to take your education to the next level. My channel has more than 1,400 free videos and 300 premium videos if you click the join button and choose the highest tier to gain access to these premium courses right now. They include courses like high yield OBGYN, high yield surgery, high yield emergency medicine, cardiac pharmacology, neuropharmacology, antibiotics pharmacology, and much more. So subscribe, smash like, hit the bell, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases, and check out TrueLearn website for some really nice vignettes.